Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for January 27th. The scripture states, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. Proverbs 3, verse 13 and 14. Since God is the source of all true knowledge, it is, as we have seen, the first object of education to direct our minds to his own revelation of himself. Adam and Eve received knowledge through direct communion with God, and they learned of him through his works. All created things in their original perfection were an expression of the thought of God. To Adam and Eve, nature was teeming with divine wisdom. But by transgression, man was cut off from learning of God through direct communion and to a great degree through his works. The earth, marred and defiled by sin, reflects but dimly the Creator's glory. It is true that his object lessons are not obliterated. Upon every page of the great volume of his created works may still be traced his handwriting. Nature still speaks of her creator. Yet these revelations are partial and imperfect, and in our fallen state, with weakened powers and restricted vision, we are incapable of interpreting aright. We need the fuller revelation of himself that God has given in his written word. To obtain an education worthy of the name, we must receive a knowledge of God, the Creator, and of Christ, the Redeemer, as they are revealed in the Sacred Word. Instead of confining their study to that which men have said or written, let students be directed to the source of truth, to the vast fields opened for research in nature and revelation. Let them contemplate the great facts of duty and destiny, and the mind will expand and strengthen. Let us pray. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary, Lord, for you. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this new day and for your continued love towards us. We are almost at the end of January. It is already the 27th day of this new year, and we just want to thank you for being here, for another chance to be on repentance ground, another chance to learn more about you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for providing for our basic needs and our wants at times. Thank you for the blessings that you have given us through our relationships. Thank you for helping us to be useful in one way or another. Thank you for just allowing us this opportunity to be in your presence. We ask that you will cleanse us and forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us of our selfishness. Cleanse us of our doubt. Cleanse us of the evil thoughts that we allow to enter our minds and sit there. Father, I pray that you will cleanse us so that we would have a deeper relationship with you. We indeed thank you for your Holy Spirit and ask even now that your Holy Spirit will be with us in our minds and in our hearts. Be with us as we go along today. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will forgive us and cleanse our hearts that you will help us to think on things that are holy and true and pure and just. Help us to desire and be willing to surrender our minds so that the minds can be that of Jesus Christ. Because while living on this earth, Jesus did not sin. 
And even though we are sinners, we are indeed saved by the grace of God. We are indeed forgiven when we seek forgiveness with a humble heart. And so we thank you for this opportunity to again be able to be in your immediate presence. Help us to live a life pleasing in your sight so when that time does come that we will be one of those going home to heaven to spend a thousand years before we return to our new earth. Thank you so much for the plainness of your Bible, the plainness of the words therein. Even the words and chapters like Revelation and Daniel that we find so difficult, if we pray and if we believe and surrender our minds and hearts, we will be able to understand what it is that you have to say to us in these last days. Help us to take time to be out in nature because our minds will be more relaxed. We'll be better able to hear your spirit talks to us and guide us as we continue each day in this world, in this chaos that is going on. We thank you that amidst the chaos, we have the opportunity to have homes that are like heavens here on earth, to have family, and loved ones that care, to know that someone is there for you. And Father, I pray whatever our situation may be today, first and foremost, help us to know that we are loved by you. I ask that you will continue to guide us, help us to be about your business, help us to take time in nature to see how the flowers grow, grow and to see the birds flying and chirping and just even watching a new flower come up. There's so many beautiful things. Help us to make a decision to seek blessings. Look for the blessings every day instead of murmuring and complaining. Help us to see the blessing in the sunshine and the rain and in various other means of nature and help us to be prepared to one day have open face-to-face communion with you, with Jesus and with the Holy Spirit. I pray your will be done in our lives. Cleanse us and forgive us again, I pray. Help us to definitely pray, to study our Bibles, to surrender our minds and hearts, and to love those that we come in contact with. Thank you so much for all that you do and your continued blessings. May your will be done in our lives as uh, you give us your Holy Spirit. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.